Good morning friends. This is the first real frost this time around. We had a kind of a mild one the other day, but not really, but it's, there's frost on the pumpkin overnight. It's gonna be a glorious day. Thanksgiving's coming up. I hope you got big plans for Thanksgiving. I know we do. And it's just beautiful. I'm gonna show you Pilot Knob. I've already turned. I hope no cars come because I'm backing up the wrong way. I'm going to show you it's real foggy over there. There's a mist happening. Pilot Knob is that mountain right over there. And when I say mountain, it's they've cut the side off of it. There's a rock quarry right below it. But you can see that it's a smoky mountain day and we're not even in the smoky mountains that building is really huge and it starts over on the uh, on brick church pike and it's all the way over here this is i-65 24 split south and wow panatoni i don't even know what that is but that's some big old buildings up there We had an old building there at the car lot. And there's several buildings that look like that here. That's Nashville Electric Service. This is the South Substation, which is all this stuff that's around us on both sides. We're down here. This is what we would call Fessler's Lane. Junkyard down here. Friends, I'm in Calvary Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee, right off of Fessler's and I guess it'd be Elm Hill. And uh, we'll take you to the grave of someone that you would know if you know country music. And here he is, friends, right here. Edward Thomas Rabbit. Eddie Rabbit, dearest Irish American husband, died in 1998 passed away uh, he was born in 41 which was before World War II then he passed away in 98 and he had um, he had a bunch of hits had lung cancer that's what he passed away from and some of the songs that that you would probably know he had one with Crystal Gale you and I step by step Drinking My Life Away, I Love a Rainy Night's probably one of his most famous. Every Which Way But Loose in the uh, Clint Eastwood uh, movies. And his album From the Heart was put out after he passed. So he still put music out after he passed away and it, it looks like he had a young son that only lived like a year and a half. I did not know that. And so this grave was here before that grave. So this grave had been here for quite a, quite a bit. 1985 was when that child passed away. So I did not know that Eddie Rabbit had lost a child until right this moment. But this is the world famous Eddie Rabbit is right here. And I had a belt buckles that looked just like that right there when I was a kid. And he was an Irishman friends. So now you know Eddie Rabbit right here. This is a shout out to you Eddie Rabbit in heaven and uh, enjoyed your music 
and I love a rainy night as well. And you can see that this cross has rabbit written on it too. So he must own the graves in this area. This is his family plot. This is Catherine Howell, I would assume. Well, I don't know. I, I don't assume anything. I don't know who that is. So it looks like she's in the rabbit part of it. So unless the graves are going that way, but it may be that the graves are going this way. I don't know. I don't know where the body's at. And here's some other rabbits. <clears throat> this is, I would say his mom, his dad, and great dad and a great Irish fiddle player. I would say that this is granddad. He was born in 1899. So he came from a family of musicians. This is the rabbit plot right here, friends. That's downtown Nashville, friends. And I can see it from the graveyard. And Eddie Rabbit is right over there where that cross is, just on the other side of those three. So if you come here, I don't know what section I'm in, but this is an area where this road intersects. You can see those three gravestones right there and you see the cross. That cross marks where Eddie's at. And there's also a big mausoleum right down there. So you kind of look for these items and you'll find Eddie right there. Eddie. Little red clay dirt for you, friends. So friends, I'm gonna take you and show you the Drake Motel. And the Drake Motel was built in the 40s. It's got that 40s look to it still but it's been used in some movies it's rumored that elva stayed here now we're talking about back in the 50s when this motel was only 10 years old this is when elvis would have stayed here and dolly parton has stayed here at some point and this right here is the drake still got the old school uh sign and you can see it says stay where the stars stayed many movies and videos filmed here and they're right, there have been many. Jason Aldean recently did a, uh, last few years did a, a video here. And you can see it's still got a working swimming pool. A lot of hotels that are this age, swimming pool's been filled in. But they've tried to keep it cool and nostalgic looking, but safe at the same time. And this is what it looks like. I think we'll send the glory up to fly over to see what it looks like from the air. But we'll talk about some of the movies and things that have been shot here. I'll, I'll talk about it during the time we're flying the glory. And you can see they've got a little area here to barbecue and a swing. And so they're trying to step their game up. Historic site, the Drake. So let's fly to glory, friends. Okay, Carl. Up, that dude right there is blind. So this is kind of a rough area, as you can see. This is Murfreesboro Road and Paris Avenue. So I'm gonna pull over in here and send the glory up.
tighten up.